Hey, what's up, everybody? James Showers here. You're on the Nomadic King channel. What's I'm up, joined guys? with the Squanch. Squanch. And we're going to do a little bag review. He's got these bags uh, a few months back, and he wants to talk about uh, how they're breaking in, what he likes, what he doesn't like about them. Right? What I can change or what I'm going to. All right, stay tuned. This is your boy Squanch here. Working on a stick with his axe. Smoking <laughs> a cigarette because he can. He's that in is. the smokers' union. Um, this is his bags right here. He's gonna do a little review. We're out here at Corbin Park in Post Falls. Got some people out there playing some disc golf. Some I'm and, about to uh, do some disc golf myself. All right, what do we got going on here today? All right, guys. Let's <laughs> well, we got our my bags here. Let's see what number are they? Oh. Can I still read that? Uh, fifty sixty-two. This one is. Oh, dude. Ah, uh, barely readable. It's a 5070. 50, that's the drywall pouch. And what did you say the other one was? Uh, 5070. Uh, uh, 5062. 5062 for the three, um, three pouch fastener bag. All right, they're uh, they're not looking too bad. How long have we actually had those for now? Uh, three months. Yeah, about two months, two and a half months. Okay. These are my leathers. My sheet pad scan there holding up pretty well, dude. Yeah, they're I'm not even. Yeah, they're not even smashed in. The bad, they're, they're the best thing. The only thing I would like to do, which I actually have, James at my house, which we're going to do, is I'm going to take this right here, guys. Right. And I'm sick and tired of how my bag always moves on me. You know, I'm sick and tired of that because I have to readjust them six times. I like it. Mine slides on me too sometimes. Yeah. So what am I going to do? Know. And it's back to where it goes. I got these eyelid things. Oh, there you use. go. Tink. Tink. All lining up. Okay, cool. This will move, and that's fine because I might want to adjust it eventually. But you're gonna rivet. You're gonna rivet your bags down to your belt so you know where you want them. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go and over. Then, uh, what do you? That T square. For, I mean, a T square. square. Boom. Works out great. I just kind of wish this was. Uh, Either forward a little more so I could reach into here better and put screws in there better without having to oh, drop that, draw this, lift that up. I have no tools in there right now. I haven't been doing garages that much lately. Okay. Alright, and then here's this, dude. This is awesome. This is my favorite part. Okay. Yeah, this is my favorite part right here. Because how I have it? How do you have it? Just throw these things on. People are laughing all day. That's right. They can do whatever they want. They're over there having fun playing volleyball. All right, what do we got going on here? Look, they got a little, you know, they got some scuff going on here. Um, a little bit right here. I mean, that's probably where it rubs a lot. They're not looking too bad. We're probably going to clean both of our bags up yeah, here in, in a right video. Here. I got my snap line. No, I'm just checking chalk line. <laughs> nice. And he also normally carries a couple of screwdrivers. They're not in here. They must have fallen out in the back yeah. of the truck. I carry a screwdriver right here and... Uh, well, Sam has that. It's got a good button. spot for a uh, keyhole saw will fit right no. there. Uh, that'll stab you right there, yep, won't it? Yeah, it stabs me. It's also why how I don't know how Kenny has his hatchet right here. Yeah, it's going to whack ding, your ding, knee. Ding, 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 ding. Nope, I'll take this and I'll throw it at the end of the day eventually. All right, so what else we got going on here? The rest of the leather's holding up pretty good. No holes, no, uh, no scratches, right? And one thing, though, sometimes this right here. Yeah. We'll start rubbing right here. Because this will eventually sink and it hurts. It sucks. I don't like that. Oh, that metal sits right against your uh, hip or whatever your your waist. Yep. Okay, and let's see what do we, what do we got for fading on this? A little bit of fading right here. A lot. Of, they're looking pretty good still, man. A little bit this right there. This one mainly though, just just. Just because that knife. How's it holding up? It's not poking through or nothing. The bottom of the deal. No. Cool. So, uh, overall thoughts, I mean, you like these bags, or you, you wish you maybe would have gone with the Kevlar or something instead? I'm calling mm. myself stupid for not going with them earlier. <laughs> oh, these bags right here? Uh, hell yeah, dude, that would have saved me so much pain. I really enjoy the, um, the drywall pouch for the tools. Oh yeah, and that You know, like, so if you wanted to go with a different, um, side bag for the, for your, um, fasteners, would probably be a good idea, just because, I mean, the, the leather weighs a lot, but this bag is... This right here is awesome. I wish they made this in Kevlar. I'd probably switch my bags over. 
but yeah that's pretty much it right there right i probably would i'd get some kevlar ones because they're lighter probably save you five to ten pounds who cares well my hips care you know what get <laughs> right now hips, bud. right now they do all right well should we pull my bags out and take a look at the wear on those do you want to or do you want this to be your own little video i want this one to be mine all right this is squanch's own little video anything else you want to add about these guys they're great um i definitely recommend them but uh i might just uh, switch out and go with the two pouch yeah because this I mean, one's this almost comes in handy when you want to carry an extra battery or something but that's only when you're on stage it almost kind of gets in the way like it doesn't the other one i think with I the two pouch is a little easier it. getting in there too and this so. too i rather actually have i rather have my bits and stuff right here and my knife right here because my knife catches on things all the time it sucks hmm. Weird. All right, that's weird. But yeah, yeah I always figured like, if you wore that out, you can always put a tool shield in there too, so. Yeah, oh no, when I wore it out, dude. Oh, I'm gonna put a tool shield right, ow! <laughs> yeah, ow. We're gonna well, edit you no, getting no, your hand see. cut out. Right there, boom. Cause these, dude. I like that front little spot. It works pretty good for me. Guess what? Double come out. Boom. Well, this has been a wear and tear video, I guess, from the Squanch. Um, not much is worn. They're just, you know, slightly scuffed. This is probably the wor the most worn, where it's rubbed the most. But um, other than that, those are looking pretty good. We'll maybe, like, oh, yeah, clean them up here in a little nice. bit with some milk leather or um, some other kind of... Uh, we'll figure out something. We'll figure out something to clean them up with. Right here. Oh, yeah. We'll spit shine these things. Boom, guys. All right, guys. Boom. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded and uh, all that other stuff. So see you in the next video. See you guys in the next one video. Like, <laughs> Poke share, in the eye. subscribe. Peace. I see you too. Later. Get out. So listen, we're doing a, a review on the rest of Squanch's uh, drywall setup. All right. What do we got going on here? All right, so we got a screw gun. This is my original one, but... Um, James got a new one and I got handed this one for some reason and Smiley took it over this one and messed it up. Yes, he did. Nope, I'm saying he did because this didn't happen, guys. So, this All right. cone eventually will wear out and, oh, hey, dude, I think I fixed it. No, probably not. Nope. Okay, guys, so now we're going to do a little review, add it to the bag one, of the rest of my setup. The Milwaukee guns or not. And, uh, where? So, great. I like it and I love the auto feature. I thought it was kind of drinky at first. But it's great when you can just put it on auto, lock your gun, put a screw on there, pink, get a screw up top. It's great. That's awesome. It's not running all the time. Okay. So let's go through uh, the pros of this gun versus maybe like the uh, DeWalt that you switched over from, right? Yep. All right. So uh, we're not so much a comparison, but like what I mean, what do you what do you like about this gun? Like it's, what's it's the auto and it has more drive to it, and you can use your own strength to put how the depth of a screw does that make sense the harder you push with this when you're going in the wall the deeper that screw will go so you can almost not have to adjust your gun all the time to just adjust your strength and putting in a screw but the batteries are where it's at guys like one of those two of those dewalt batteries no one of these batteries if i'm screwing off all day will last two and a half hours dewalt batteries an hour so you get like an extra hour and a half time on this with these batteries all right okay. and these uh we're all oh, do i not have one of the big ones? nope i do cool the big ones guys way epic it, half a day one of these screwing off all day only have to change the battery twice twice i use a small one myself because i don't like the extra weight <laughs> i know the extra weight does kind of suck on it but but I use and, the big uh, one on the router. It works really good because it lasts, lasts a long time. Because the router ends up sucking up a lot of juice. Yeah. Um, so what do we got going on for? Um, I mean, are these all the pros that you have got going on here? You like that it's got a better battery, and you feel that the screws right, can so are easier to sink or something? Or all right. So I'm here are my cons. When you're taking a screw out like this, sometimes the cone comes off too easy. Okay. The cone comes off too easy sometimes. And it's when you're taking it off, 
And if you are, uh, so to speak, trying to turn this thing, it, hold on, it will you know, sometimes it won't go on. I can't get it to do it right now, but sometimes it's... And it's another thing, on. this uh, cone has gotten messed up. I'm not too sure what exactly happened with it, but it's, um, I don't know, not setting right, so... Hold on, I'm going to call you right back, all right? I'm in the middle of a video. <laughs> He's gonna go right. play some disc golf. Disc golf with Honky. Not Honka Tonk, but another friend of mine. Alright, guys. Boom! So, the riders, it's nice. I like the fact these ones have a clip. That's the benefit of these ones, but really, they are the same. Things you don't like about that rider. Oh, I had this right here. I had no guard right there. Ooh, it catches my finger sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Hurts, dude. Yeah, you. you I'm not running out. Tink, 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 tink. Nope. Okay. He's Don't tinking out. All right, what else? He's, a, he's tinking out. Everything's I'm tinking. tinking. Out. I'm tinking here, guys. All right, <laughs> what else we got going on in this little bag? Why do you have all the screw guns in that bag? They got loaded up in there weird. Why did they all get loaded up in my bag? I told, the, I told them one screw gun, one battery, one router, each bag. How Here's hard is that? my shaft. I found it. So we can put that one on this one since this shaft sucks, guys. So, yeah, that's basically it. That's his little drywall setup. Well, um, I like how also, how easy it is to replace your tips and whatnot. Oh, hold on. That's got some gunk in it. I'm going to have to clean that out. I like that. I thought that tip was messed up. No, that's the good. shaft that that you bought from uh, Corlean Power Tools. It's no, got that little lock. One. I tore that oh. out. Tore that out. That's why it doesn't stay in there so well. Boom. That's in there. And with the DeWalt, it's such a pain in the ass to get these, those out, but... You have to, like, push that little lock in and then pull it out. These will just pop out like a regular screw gun. Push strength. Well, damn, you need to use oh your strong gosh. arm. Use my strong arm here. I'll get it for you. Wiggle you it a little bit. You can get that, because I don't feel like doing it. I worked out too hard, guys. Worked out too hard. Oh, wow. His muscles are fatigued. Okay, um, we're going to wrap this little video up, I guess. I but mean... Yeah. It's the best gun. I definitely recommend it. Uh, let me see that your original gun. Like, how much is this thing worn? I mean, you only had it for a little bit, but damn, man, these guys like drop this thing. Look at that. This thing is just like shredded beef over here, man. Like, what are you doing to this thing? Nose cones all messed up. This thing's all like ran over. Um, one thing you're gonna want to do is put some Loctite. This is the hammer on these. What's up? It's because of the hammer. Why are you whacking it with a hammer? I'm not. It gets hit when I put my. Gun oh. In. Jeez. So yeah, but you want to put some Loctite on these because um, uh, we've had a problem with them falling oh, off. Oh yeah, the so. cliffs definitely, definitely. All right, well let's say goodbye. We oh got... hold on, you want to see the warranty on this one? What are we doing to it? Warranty. Did you know what I noticed? Which I won't put in the video. Which that one? What are you talking about? We already did this. No, the warranty on this. <laughs> and eventually over time. This goes out. Clips go out. Out here at Corbin Park. You can see it's smoky as all hell out here. Doing a few videos. Recorded one with the squanch and did a little boot review of myself. Thought I'd come down here and just show you the Spokane River real quick. Just this little part of it. The sun's out, I promise. You just can't see it. Some people over here getting ready to raft. A lot of people come out here and play disc golf. You guys enjoy disc golf? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> All right, we're about ready to wrap this vlog up. See you on the next one, and peace. Making good use of that drywall axe. <laughs>